All right, jumping right in. We've got the same data we had yesterday when we looked at multiple regression, NFL running back data. So what we have are actually rushing yards. But what we had before, we looked at these in focus. All quantitative data, all uh, numerical, everything goes just fine. But let's say, do we want to see if the NFC or the AFC might be an easier conference to run in? Who knows? I mean, it could be one, it could be another. It could be like the year Jamal Lewis ran for 2,000 yards and he had 500 total against the Cleveland Browns in two games. You know, something like that. So we added the conference here. And to factor this in, you really can't uh, make it numeric, so it's a problem. What you have to do is you add category for each. So all we did was we added a column, we did that, right click, insert. So we had those and we made it a yes or no. So all you have to do is an if statement. I did it very simplistically here and then just changed it to the other conference here. So we made if and AFC, so if D3 right here equals NFC, NFC, then we want to show it as a one. If not, it's a zero. So all the NFC teams have a one. All the AFC teams have a one over here. So we're looking for if this is yes, it's a one. If this is yes, it's a one. And you see that they don't intersect. So we've essentially made these data like on off switches. So it's sort of like a one or a zero, basically. This was our output last time. We got this whole thing here. So just like with the other one before, we want to see if these are good predictors by themselves. So we tested them in a regression. So all I did was, you know, I'll run through it again. We just go to our data tab. We hit data analysis. Scroll down to regression. Yeah, we click that. Okay. Our Y range. What we're going to predict, that will be yards. Then we're going to pick our X range right here. We'll just run them both in here. So we're going to use our independent variables, what conference they're in. We have our labels, yes. Constant, zero, no, don't want to do that. The output range, I want this to go right here. And I hit OK. So right off the bat, this does not look great. And let's take a look at why. First, we have more than one variable, so we're going to want to use adjusted R square. That's negative. We typically want a value above 0.9 on that, so 90%. So this explains basically nothing in the variance between yardage. So it's not a great indicator there. Keep going here, standard error, that is massive. So we also have another red flag where our significance for F is greater than our F stat. So if the F is greater than this, that's good. If it's not, it does not explain the um, the model well, or the model does not explain the data. So the dummy variables do not explain yardage very well. But that's also indicated right here, because these are related. Then if we go to our p-values, remember we want everything under 0 0.05. The intercepts there, okay, but that's not the primary concern. The NFC and AFC, ooh, these are not statistically significant. So we can dump this. So right now, they're not great indicators. But if we run them together, let's give that a shot. Data analysis, regression. We're still predicting yardage. Instead of the, for the X range, we're just gonna add all our good old factors in here. And I want that output to be, we'll just go right here. Scroll on down, okay. We adjusted R square and R square looked good. First positive. Significance, our F stat is greater than our significance level. Awesome. And our p-values. Attempts, good. First down's good. Long is good, the longest run. Still not significant though, even when combined. So we can probably just drop those dummy variables. But it's good to see that it doesn't really matter, based on this anyway. Statistically, we have shown a large amount of evidence, a very widely accepted way that uh, the conference is irrelevant in terms of how much yardage you'll produce. It might be more worthwhile to look at, is it a passing offense? Do they have a superstar quarterback, superstar wide receiver? But those are other dummy variables that we can factor in using the exact same process here. Like we'd add a column that says superstar wide receiver, zero for no, one for yes. 
superstar quarterback. So, you know, and we would just do that stuff and continue to move these things on. So that's pretty much it for dummy variables. They're fairly simple to enter or to enter there. Um, usually they're very good in terms of, uh, you know, let's say you're doing sales for a restaurant and you want to see it's got a big outdoor dining section. It makes sense that if it's raining, the sales will be down that day. So there you might want to use that dummy variable. That might just be perfect for that data. But again, it's just knowing the data, understanding what's going on, and kind of seeing the story behind it and looking at the big picture because just guy go, as they used to tell me in school, garbage in, garbage, or garbage out. You must have quality inputs to have quality outputs. And if you do not know what the quality of those inputs are, they're probably not going to end out well for you. All right, that's it for today. Again, if you've enjoyed the content of the video, it's helped you out. Like and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you next time.